Have a nice day. And today my topic is uh, to have a discussion on uh, significance of Buddhist virtues for this particular moment, for this time. Especially uh, to reinterpret a kind of misunderstanding that occurred in most of the Buddhist cultures. And to put it in very simply and clearly, and some of the Buddhist cultures considered that the helping someone in his deathbed is very important. And since people consider that, and they uh, unfortunately, uh, what had happened, uh, people have forgotten the significance of virtues for the practical life. And they think at the end of the life someone can help or we can make our mind and then we can have a better next life. So, in a, however, the Buddha's attitude regarding the virtues and its practice is different. And it is okay, it's fine someone can help when someone is dying and we, we can go to him and we can talk to him, we can bring monks and we can conduct different kind of religious, religious rituals and as well as uh, we can try to help him to make his mind establish his mind in a good position and by doing so sometime if we can settle his mind his chutajit and the partisan digit, especially chutajit the last thought of one's death when someone's dying and if we can make that mind better purify and we, it's believed in Theravada Buddhism the, that person's next life become better he, he may go to a good place and, and therefore we do different kind of rites and rituals when someone is going to die and to help him but actually what happened in one of the many of the discourses Buddha has emphasized opposite of that instead of helping someone at the death bed and we can help him and we can help ourselves by practicing Dhamma very well when we are living. And one example, I can quote one of the examples from the Buddha's discourses. In Anguttara Nikaya, Sarakani Vagga Mahanama Sutta, and Buddha explains this matter. And as you and we, and we, there's a very nice example and the instance. And the example is Mahanama Sakya comes to Buddha and he has a very practical question. The question is very practical and interesting. And he asks, okay, Buddha, when I am with you, when I am with the monk, and I am very settled, I am very peaceful, I am very happy, and if I die in that kind of time, that kind of situation, I am sure I will be born in he heaven, and I will not go to a bad place, and therefore I am ready to even die when I am in a happy full mood, like when I am with you, with monks. But when I go to city and the towns and suburb areas, and the city is very busy, very noisy, people are making different kind of animals are running here and there, my mind becomes unstable, it is not settled. When mind is not settled, I am fear, if I die in that kind of situation, I will go to hell, because my mind is not settled, my mind is not peaceful. And then Buddha gave a nice example, okay, don't worry. If you have lived nicely, if you have lived better way, if you have practiced Dhamma well, if you have cultivated nice, good things, if your behavior well was uh, wholesome, as well as if you intentionally did most of your life meaningful, if you lived meaningful life, don't worry. And you will necessarily get a better life better world, a better next life. And the example Buddha gave is, for example, in this case, Buddha said, take the example of a tree which is bent towards north side. And when there is a, a tree that bent towards north, if it falls down, naturally, generally, it will fall down to the north side. And if it is cut by someone, again, there's a probability or possibility of uh, falling it down to the north, not to the south. And because that tree is 
bent towards that. Likewise, our behavior also is a some kind of training or habit. And our next life or the next moment is decided by the behavior of this moment. And therefore, what Buddha's example here, if we cultivate ourselves, if we train ourselves, if we make better habits, and as a result of that better habit, there's a very clear possibility of going to hell and having a good birth. And therefore, there's nothing to be worried thinking about where will I go, what will happen to me after my death. And only thing we have to do is live happily, peacefully and meaningfully now. And then we don't have any reason to worry about the future or the next life. Another example Buddha gave regarding the foot of the ghee. And Buddha said, if someone bring a pot of ghee uh, to the bottom of the river or the tank, and if we uh, break that down, break down that, uh, that pot, and the ghee will come out soon, the pot will break broken. And the result is normally, naturally, the ghee is coming out of the water, to the uh, surface of the water, and that is the nature of the ghee. And likewise, there's a nature of the human life. It is a training. And if we have trained well, if we have lived well, if we have cultivated better path, if we have uh, good qualities and the habit, and naturally and necessarily, and we will have a better life. And that is what the Buddha's method. Don't worry about the future or the past. Just happily and peacefully live now. And result is, you will have a very nice life now and the next time, as well as in your future. Thank you.